It's uh, 11.30 at night. It's taxi vlog. What is it? 335? Something like that. Did I say it's 11.30 at night? Yeah, it's 11.30 at night. It's Thursday night. I just got my lease on. Um, it's a little slow. It's been a kind of slow for December so far. On uh, Monday night I came out and it was uh, sluggish. It was quiet. I got to see a lot of uh, YouTube videos. I went through my watch later list and I I watched everything that was on there pretty much. So then I started reading some more. It's the uh, Steve Sterling on the Oceans of Eternity. This is the last one from that series from the people who were on Nantucket when the change came and <clears throat> they were thrust into the world of 1500 BC but Nantucket Island was left intact. I'm at the point where they're 10 years into the new world Oh yeah, Monday night it was kind of sluggish, but I hang on, and everyone else went home, and I ended up getting my lease in Interax and getting my uh, enough cash to put some in the bank. I have a new Interact machine, this one here. The old ones, you used to put people's debit card and credit card in at the beginning of the transaction, and then you went through a whole bunch of things. Now with this new one, you put the amount in first, and then you give it to the customer, and you tell them, please don't put the card in yet. First, you have to add a tip or not and then the machine will ask you to put your card in well it would ask the customer to put the card in and then give the pin number and once the pin number is done then it tells you please remove your card and then it gives a printout And uh, there are no communication errors. The machine works just about every time I've used it. And uh, it, it does MasterCard and Visa and American Express and everything. It doesn't crap out if it gets a certain kind of card and says you have to type it in manually. So it's improved, but there was the second day I got it, which was a week ago, Oh, and police everywhere. Fuck. The second day I got it, which was a week ago, it worked. Uh, it didn't. It worked all night except at four in the morning. It wouldn't take a, tra a transaction, and it said that I had to download some software, and I didn't know where to download the software from, so I had to take it into our office where the guy took care of it there. So Monday I came out all right, and I had watched a lot of videos. Tuesday, it was kind of slow to start again. It was sluggish. But after midnight, I started doing better. And then, just when I was doing fine, I had to run to the airport for another 60 bucks, which really, really helped. So the Tuesday I was ahead. The Tuesday I had done well and I was ahead. 
and uh, which prepared me for Wednesday, which was quite dismal. Uh, Wednesday was pretty good before midnight, uh, and I got my lease on, and I got my fuel on, and then I got another 20 or 30 bucks on, and then I think between 1 and 6 in the morning I made another 30 or 40 dollars, and that was it. So the Wednesday was really kind of a waste. Fortunately, the Tuesday was over, so I had all my leases paid in Interac up to that point. Um, tonight I've got uh, I've got most of my lease in Interac, but I don't have a lot of cash yet. I just got my lease, like I said, so I've got six and a half hours to go to make gas money and a profit. So yeah, uh, Wednesday was really no hot shit either, and now we're halfway through Thursday. I'll get back to you, I guess after the Friday night, let you know how it went, let you know how tonight went, and let you know how tomorrow went, something like that. Anyway, so far I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't. It doesn't feel like December at all, and uh, it's not. It's 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 sluggish. It's slow for December. It's not really moving like it should. I hope the second half of the month is a whole lot better than the first half. looks okay. Uh, just get most of the crap off it, you know. There's all kinds of dead leaves and things on the ground and they get kicked up by the wheels and when the dead leaves and things get kicked up by the wheels it gets stuck to the side of the car and it leaves a mess. And so we just uh, clean that off a little bit. I've got just a few minutes. I've got to park it. I've had a busy morning and all in Interac, I've had very little cash tonight, so, but after midnight, or after about 11.30, I started to get busy, and uh, it was quite steady, I didn't get a chance to sleep much, I think I dozed off at one point for about 10 minutes, and uh, I just uh, kicked ass tonight, I... I did I, I did over 200 in interacts and then I still got some cash as well. Not a, a a big bunch of cash, but still 200 in interacts. That means that I only need about fifty dollars more, or actually a little less than fifty dollars to get my lease for the whole week. And tomorrow night, Friday night should be. Uh, Typically, it's uh, 
around a $400 night if it's a good one. So, you know, um, that, that's going to be all right. So now I'm just going to fuel up now that I've got the, the biggest the dirt off the car. It looks presentable. Um, people were not too messy in here tonight. Uh, I only had to shake the mats out. I didn't have to vacuum anything. So that wasn't bad at all. Um, quite pleased with the way it went. I was kind of worried uh, when I got my lease on at 11.30 when I did the first part of this uh, video. But uh, yeah, now it's going good. So I'll get back to you tomorrow. Uh, it's 4.27 in the morning and uh, I'll tell you what happened. I came out to work at 6.30 um, of the Friday night, the 12th of December, and um, I got my first call right away, and it was half an hour old, and there was nobody there. I got another call immediately after signaling a no-show there. It was only two blocks away, but it was also half an hour old at a shopping center, and it was a no-show. Two no-shows in a row. So then I got sent to on another call, and I thought, well, I'm going to phone them first and uh, see, because it was another half an hour old call. I think I went through four or five calls in that parking lot before I actually got an actual person on the other end of the line talking to me and uh, ready to go and I took the guy downtown I had another call downtown I think immediately and I did that one then I ended up in uh, in a part of town and I got another call and uh, they didn't answer got another call didn't answer got another call didn't answer got another call and it was to a supermarket so I called the phone number and it says this is the supermarket phone line we don't accept any calls at this number <laughs> well, if I can't talk to you, or if I can't talk to someone, I don't come towards you, especially if you're far away. And that's what they were doing. They were flinging cars all kinds of long distances to go get people. And when there's no people there, what's the point of driving all that distance empty? So the beginning was a total gong show. And then after about the first hour it's I started to get busy I got flags and then the calls started coming in and the calls were regular and the calls were fresh they weren't old calls like when I first came on at 630 and I did not stop driving until 230 I went eight hours straight did not stop driving I had one after another after another after another I have almost 500 on right now Well, at about 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, it kind of died. And um, it always does that, or usually does that on Friday. And I had a couple of fares since then. I was sitting in the parking lot reading my book about half an hour ago, and I got sent on a call. It was a time call for 10 minutes after 4. I got there at 9, uh, at, I got there at 5 minutes after 4. At nine minutes after four, I phoned the number, and nobody answered. It was a message on there saying that uh, my call is being forwarded to voicemail. Well, she didn't answer the phone, so I went and uh, I went to the buzzer for the building, and I, I buzzed the apartment. I said, your taxi's here. 
She said, taxi? I said, yeah. Didn't you call a taxi? She said, yeah. I said, well, I'm right outside. And I proceeded to wait another 10 minutes before anyone came out of the building, and no one came out of the building. Another cab came up behind me and said, you got a no load too. Oh, yes, I did. So people are dicking us around this morning. Fortunately, it was a good night. A very good night. I would just like a little more business now because the adrenaline was flowing really good and now I'm getting kind of sleepy. Um, yeah, I got an hour and a half to go and it, it looks like there's, it's done. There's like no, no, nothing left. Nothing. Update. What do I have to do? Scoot by Denny's to see if anything's there? I'm second in the zone. Anyways, it was it was good. It was uh, it was a, a slice. It's pretty much done now. <sighs> I'm glad the week is kind of over. I, I, you know, I could even park it now and just just go home. I'm tempted to do that. Just go home, have something to eat, have a couple of drinks and go to sleep. But you know, I could get another call any, any moment and I still have the car for another hour and a half. I could read my book and I could fall asleep in a parking lot, which is probably what's going to happen. Anyway, almost halfway through December now, and so far it hasn't felt like December up until tonight. Slow getting going this year. Oh look, there might be somebody standing at Denny's waiting for a cab. Well, hope yours is better than mine.